Just the other day, we got an announcement by Disney that one of the big franchises they acquired when they bought 20th Century Fox is going to continue, with the news that Ice Age 6 is going to be coming to cinemas in 2026. The announcement was made in a cute little video with some of the voice actors for the lead characters, which was pretty goofy, but very wholesome. Now that being said though, this news has got me feeling a lot of different ways. On the one hand, I'm pretty excited as this is a film series I have a lot of nostalgia around. The first one came out when I was just a kid, and so for the first three installments at least, I was just the right age to really enjoy and engage with them. On the other hand, I'm not certain that it'll be any good for a number of different reasons. We'll get into those in just a moment, but I do want to say I get why they're bringing back the franchise. I'm not an idiot. Ice Age is a franchise that has a lot of potential for Disney. I know people go on and on about artistic integrity and how many disdain franchises as they feel they're derivative, etc, etc. In the end though, when a franchise takes off, they can be a goldmine of consistent box office success that a studio can use to fund different original projects and take some financial risks on the newer IP. Considering how many financial flops that Disney Pixar have put together in the last couple of years, Inside Out 2 notwithstanding, I could see why the lure would be great. So why wouldn't Disney be interested in further cementing themselves in the animated market? After all, as of recently, it does seem as though you're more likely to have success with animation at the box office, particularly with a franchise film. I mean, look at the upcoming slate from Walt Disney and Pixar. We have Moana 2, Zootopia 2, Toy Story 5, and two Frozen sequels that are in the works and getting ready to either release or enter production. After the massacre that has been COVID and poor creative and business decisions which dried up the well, the mouse wants his moolah, and so they have to use the franchises that are going to make them the most money. Ice Age itself is one such franchise that was very lucrative back in the old Fox days. So whilst it isn't a proven commodity for Disney, it's still a proven commodity in general. If Disney, God forbid, one day acquires DreamWorks or the Shrek IP at the very least, they would use it. They may not have had specific success with it, but it's pretty clear that it would have made them a heap of money, or at the very least, have the potential for big gains. Starting off, the first film was an unknown quantity from a studio that was a massive question mark. What had Blue Sky made before that? Maybe some shorts, but nothing of note. It was a successor studio to Fox Animation that made one good film, Anastasia, and then went belly up with a couple of flops and had to be wound up in the end. So there was a good chance that Blue Sky was going to serve up a flop and a fail, but in spite of it all, they burst onto the scene and made close to $400 million way back in 2002 off a budget of only $59 million. It was also just an awesome movie in pretty much every respect, but we can talk about that in a little bit. The second one came out four years later and grossed $667 million off an $80 million budget. The third one, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, came out in 2009 and grossed $886 million off of $90 million, which was absolutely huge for the time. Seriously, this film was a pretty big deal for its day. It was the highest grossing animated film of the year, competing against the likes of Up and The Princess of the Frog, mind you. It was the third highest grossing film in general of 2009. And also, I think it was the third highest grossing animated film ever at the time behind Finding Nemo and Shrek 2. Nowadays, all the big boy films need across a billion to even be considered a contender for the top title. But back then, no animated film had ever crossed that lucrative billion dollar threshold. To even have come close was a damn impressive feat. Especially since its closest competition at the time was one of Pixar's best ever films with Finding Nemo and the powerhouse of the 2000s decade with Shrek himself. It's a very impressive stat, and so it was clear that the gravy train was going full force. In 2012, the fourth film, Continental Drift, kept the good times a coming, grossing $877 million off $95 million. Which, whilst no longer the impressive feat that it was compared to the likes of Toy Story 3, it still remains a huge gross. Until finally, the fifth film, Collision Course, came out, and there was a massive drop-off to $408 million off $105, so a lot worse. Not really bad by any means, but when you compare it to the success of the franchise it had previously, you can't help but feel that the studio would have not even been slightly happy with this result. Unfortunately, there'd be no immediate redemption, because at this point, the franchise ended. Fox got bought out by Disney, and Blue Sky was shuttered, leaving the fate of the Ice Age saga in limbo. After all, it seemed like the franchise was now a case of diminishing returns, and Disney was still going massively strong with their own franchises, with their studios raking in both billion dollar grosses and Oscars aplenty. Those were the Disney glory days, and they didn't really need Ice Age back then. Obviously though, times change, and recently they've had a lot of bombs. It's been close to 10 years since the last Ice Age, and in fact it will have been 10 years between installments by the time the six films released. So even if it sucks, I expect nostalgia is going to sell tickets and make it a box office success. It's had enough breathing room. Franchises sell, nostalgia sells. 
Hence why they keep on making sequels, especially in this era where the box office seems to be in recovery mode. So yes, I think it's the ultimate pragmatic move to bring this franchise back to the big screen. But the financial side of things doesn't necessarily account for the quality of the films being released. And as a consumer, that's my major concern with this sort of thing. That when they reboot the franchise, or maybe not reboot, but when they revive the franchise, that it's gonna suck. Under the original creators, it had already hit the wall in terms of appeal. Does Disney have what it takes to bring it back? The original Ice Age is a true revelation of a movie. Whilst it perhaps doesn't look quite as good as some of its computer animated contemporaries, it's one of those early films that truly had heart. A story of a found family against the odds, of Manny overcoming the grief of having lost his wife and child long ago. He's able to learn to love this cute little human child, the same species that had killed his family way back when, and makes the journey to reunite the child with its father. The type of thing he wishes could have happened for him, no doubt. Along the way, he journeys with Sid the Sloth and Diego the Sabretooth Tiger, who are outcasts in their own right. And they form an unlikely little family, a herd of their own. It's very wholesome, very beautiful, filled with clever jokes and quick wit. It has an emotionally moving ending, and in all honesty, the film feels the most mature of the entire franchise. I don't think they've ever managed to recapture that feel, which is a shame. Perhaps the change in director is the reason as to why? I don't know. But considering the other films did so well, I can see why they never really changed things up. They made so much money after all. Regardless, whilst it didn't really reach the same lofty heights as the first film in terms of its emotional depth and storytelling, the second film is still fun and does a lot right. I didn't lean fully into the absurdity of the humour at this point at least, and the new characters added a lot to the story overall. Plus, I think the romance is very cute. By the time the third one was out though, it's like the Shrek-verse. As a kid I loved Shrek the third, and indeed, I loved Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs, but at the same time, they're much harder to rewatch these days, as it feels like the franchise was straying further away from what made it so good to begin with. The fourth one, it was the same. Ice Pirates, what the hell even is that? By the time you get to Collision Course, the whole franchise had become creatively bankrupt to an absurd degree. Hence why in comparison to all the films that had come before, it seemingly bombed out of nowhere. It had lost that spark and goodwill. It no longer had the depth that could compete with the likes of Pixar. It no longer had the whimsy to challenge Walt Disney Animated Studios or the goofy charm that had begun to define the films of new challenger Illumination Studios. Ironically, it was going the way of the dodo, as was the studio apparently. So that's part of my major hesitance about the franchise coming back. On the one hand, it's now under the umbrella of Disney. It's likely a whole new creative team that can perhaps breathe some new life into the franchise, either with a more funny premise, with more whimsy and snappy humour, or through infusing some of those deeper emotional elements that have proven popular with audiences too. Pretty much the aim of the game has to be for them to not do what they've been doing for the last two or so films. They just got weird and tired. The strange modern takes, like having pirates and shit, it just didn't work for me at all. So perhaps Disney will be able to avoid these pitfalls and ensure that the film is at least somewhat watchable. On top of that, it's clear that at least three of the major cast are returning. We have Manny, Ali, and Sid alone that are confirmed in the announcement video, and that's very good. After all, if you can't get back all the major voice actors, you either have to fully replace them, which would suck and be noticeable as all hell, you have to cut their characters completely from the movie, which once again would be very noticeable as all of their characters, particularly the big three, play a massive role in the story and overall dynamic. Or the last thing you could do would be what Pixar had to do for Mr. Potato Head, but he died. Have him lingering around in the background, but he doesn't actually ever say anything, and if he does, it's stock footage. However, that probably only works if it's a minor character who is important, but not really a principal role. It certainly wouldn't work for a character like Diego, for instance. Not one of the big three. On the other hand, though, I'm not really sure I do have all that much faith in Disney to be able to do the films right. The stark reality is this. Disney does not always have the best track record when they obtain a franchise that they themselves did not create. But even more than that, I just think Disney has been spotty at best in their recent animated efforts. That being said though, I did do a double check and apparently this isn't even going to be made by Walt Disney Animated Studios at all. It's going to be made by 20th Century Animation, who haven't really made any films at all since the Disney takeover. I think Ron's Gone Wrong way back in 2021, but that movie started production long before the acquisition I'm pretty sure, so it doesn't really count for me. This is their first big test. They're the unproven quantity once again, and I do have a whole heap of doubts. Plus, what the hell is the film even going to be about? I feel like any franchise film that goes on for years and years, installment after installment, is eventually going to arrive at the point of, well, what now? It was there after Ice Age 3. It was pretty clear that when they made a pirate film, they had completely lost the plot. By the time you got to the fifth one, it was smacking you in the face. We don't know what to do anymore. I vividly remember seeing it, despite hating the trailers, 
And let's just say there is a big reason the monetary drop-off was so hard. Creatively, I think it's a fairly narrow niche. There's only so many wacky Ice Age adventures you can go on before it starts to feel a bit derivative. Maybe they need to go back to basics. Have a reunion with the kid from the first film, maybe? I think that's the only way. They need to bring back the heart, the maturity, and move in a fresh direction away from whatever that was. Beyond that, though, I don't really have much else to say. I love me some Ice Age, and I love that there seems to be a revival of some Blue Sky classics. Pretty sure Rio's also been greenlit for a sequel. But I still have a whole heap of doubts. I was pretty scarred by Collision Course, I'm not going to lie. It's going to take a lot to convince me that this is the right idea, as much as I want it to be a good sequel. Let's hope for the best, though. And so with all that being said, these have all been my opinions, and now I'd like to hear yours. What do you think of Ice Age? Are you with me? Do they need a fresh take now? Maybe you think the later films were perfect cinema. Or should we just let Sleeping Dogs lie? I'm curious if you thought, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know.